In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each atom here in HCO3 minus, the bicarbonate ion. The reds, those are oxygens, the blacks, the carbon, and then we have a white hydrogen here. Let's use these general rules to find the oxidation numbers. We go down the table, we can see oxygen is almost always minus two, with a few exceptions. So the oxygens here, they're gonna be minus two. The hydrogen, when it's bonded to a non-metal, and carbon is a non-metal, it's going to be plus 1. We won't see the carbon here in our rules. We're going to need to use this information here, these oxidation numbers, and the charge on the bicarbonate ion to figure that out. So in an ion, all the oxidation numbers have to add up to the charge of the ion. So all of these numbers, including the carbon, have to add up to a negative 1. So we'd have 2, 4, 6, that's minus 6, plus 1. So we have minus 5 plus some number. That's going to equal minus 1. So minus 5 and a positive 4, that would give us minus 1. So the oxidation number on the carbon has to be this 4 here, plus 4. And those are the oxidation numbers for HCO3 minus. To recap, we figured out the oxidation number for the atoms that we knew from these general rules, and we used that information and the charge on the entire ion here to figure out the oxidation number on the carbon. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the bicarbonate ion, HCO3 minus. Thanks for watching.